All right, with 15B, we've still got this kiosk in the movie theater, and we still have people that are rating the movie. Only this time, what the problem is asking us to do is only allow three wrong entries, and then it's going to say, um, you know, let the next person rate the movie, because you obviously don't know how to give a proper rating. Um, so that's the whole idea. There have been some things that I've added in here. Um, you'll notice it's a little bit more hefty than the last problem. And it was all for, you know, there's all reasoning behind it. Uh, I was getting wrong answers or it was adding to something when it shouldn't have. So I had to put in some if-else statements. I had to do some other things here and there to fix it to where it did exactly what we needed. Um, so by no means is this the only way you can make this problem work, and there might be a better solution to this, but if you're stuck, this is a good place to start. Um, I'll kind of scroll up to let you see the code of program, and then we'll go over to the flowchart here. The only, the only thing I've added since the last one, if you're unfamiliar with this problem too, you might want to go watch 15A, but the only thing we've added here is uh, another variable called C for um, is it uh, chances, I guess, because we're only going to allow three wrong entries. And everything else should be the same. We're going to start off by asking for the rating. And while the rating is not zero, so the manager has not come along yet, we're going to then make sure you know we're we're um, entering something correct. So, while the rating is less than one or greater than five, and obviously it's not going to be zero, um, we're going to count as one chance. They've already entered one thing, and that's their first try at it. So as long as, you know, if, if chances is greater than or equal to three, they're going to be asked to move aside and let someone else rate. But if that's false, typically I have true on this side, but because of the way the flowchart lays out, I've switched false and true, so true's over here this time. But as long as they still have you know, more chances left to enter something correct, it's going to prompt them to enter either a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And then we're going to go back around, check for it again. If they end up hitting their you know, three chances, they've, they've made that third shot at it and they still can't get it right it's gonna say please allow the next user to rate it's gonna break from that loop and we're gonna go reset chances to zero that's important there and then if and then it's gonna say if rating is between you know those two if we if we have somehow you know because we might actually um, you know, get a correct answer here. We might actually get something, a one, two, three, four, or five. And if it is, then we obviously want to add that to our stars there. And then we want to say one person has rated. And then we ask for a rating again. And then we go, you know, back around to make sure the manager hasn't come along. So we keep doing this cycle. This is, this part right here is basically what they want you to add, is only give them three chances. And so when the manager comes around, if stars is greater than zero, so we haven't had a bunch of people goofing off and not entering correct answers, then we're going to get the average and say the average is this. But if we've had a bunch of people that want to enter, you know, 6 through 20, something that we can't use, or negative numbers, then it's just going to say there is no rating. And the reason I had to to enter this or to make this if statement here is because it was just if there was no rating then the program would just mess up and it it didn't understand what was going on so then we'd stop and the pseudocode should uh, be the same so let me check down here real fast yeah it looks like it all lines up just make sure that you know Things do work appropriately. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this matches the flowchart, but there is always the chance for error.
and you'll notice that the, the program up here is the same. The program should be the most reliable thing here because we'll run it and check it out. All right, I'm going to enter a rating, and I just don't get it. Seven. I uh, still don't get it. Eight. Nine. Still don't get it. Okay, I'm not allowed to rate anymore. So the next person comes along, and they know how to do things. Four. And let's say, well, let's do three. So we got ten divided by three. And... Yep, that's right. Um, let's actually uh, test out what would happen if we don't have any ratings at all, because none of this works. And then the manager comes along. There is no rating. So there are certain things that the book doesn't say you have. To, I mean, you really don't have to have that at the end. Um, Certain things you might not have to have, but the program itself was not working appropriately. So I had to kind of put this in here and maybe some other things. But that should be, uh, that should be pretty reliable, and hopefully that helps with this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.